A glimpse of the hours long tension and back and forth between the two groups. On one side of the street, President Trump supporters, including members of the Proud Boys, reopen NC and stop the steal. And on the other, supporters of the Black Lives Matter movement. We've been experiencing this for 400 plus years, right? It's 2020 and we're still having to protest the mistreatment of black bodies. The day started out as a demonstration. It was a Thanksgiving for Governor Cooper to let him know that, that you're not going to tell me how many people I can have in my house on, in, on private property during a holiday. But quickly grew when Black Lives Matter supporters showed up. Raleigh police are keeping distance between the two groups, creating a barrier with Black Lives Matter supporters on that side and another one with the Proud Boys on this side. The Proud Boys, dressed in black and yellow, they're listed as a hate group by the Southern Poverty Law Center, but when asked, they deny that. Do you believe in racism? Do you think it's real? I believe racism is real, and I experience it every time that I'm walking down an American street and someone calls me a cracker and spits on me. It's going to take bipartisanship from across the aisle on both sides in order uh, for true change to be brought about. And so until that comes, you're just going to see a divisiveness and, and division in the country. Despite the divisiveness, the dueling protests ended without any arrests. In downtown Raleigh, Mackenzie Stasco, CBS 17 News.